Sonny. But here we go, starting off on Green Hill, giving Knuckles the home foot advantage. He even blends into the background. Look at this. All right, so what I expect a lot to see in this matchup is Knuckles using his glide, his overall speed to kind of just invalidate the projectiles. I'm pretty sure his Nair just like doesn't care about like anything that he's thought of, aside from maybe Bomb. But that takes, you know, you gotta pull that out, set it up, make sure you lock up the right angle. It's kind of slow, you can't instantly rely on that. But Link does have his sword though. His sword in there might be to keep him taking the Knuckles combo. You know, Link has yes and also his survivability, so we shall see. Oh my goodness, just hitting him with the E. How much taking from um Wow, I have no idea. Oh, y'all like Sonic. Alright, I'm right, calling him Kit. We've been over this. Let's see though, off to our early lead. Yeah, and that down throw down there is not gonna blow him up. Now what I'm curious about is if it's better to go for a down throw up B as opposed to down throw down or a double due to his false. That would kill earlier. I really don't know. I know if he hits someone like a nasty hitbox that hits like 18 years later, Knuckles would probably just die. Oh great, that's somebody joining me, thank god. What's up gamers? It's your boy, the legendary ZSS Lucario dual main Nathan, back at it again. I just play fucking whatever character bro, I just fucking pick him. People ask him who do you main, he just says Project M. Yeah, yeah you know, pretty much. No, what the character, yep. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I'm All interested. Right. I don't remember the last time I've seen these two play. When yeah, I don't Kid think they like. From my, what I can remember since I've been coming here, I don't think I've ever seen them play. I believe it. Kind of interesting. I yeah. know Kid's been like low key, like on the come up. I remember yes. like he last time we played against Ray J, he gave him a really hard time with his knuckles. I think he went to game three. Kind yeah, of the Nux has been putting in work, brother. Yeah. I know, I used to know them for their Sonic, but now we got Knuckles out here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, how these two fare oh, ever since the knuckles. On, <gasps> no way, bro. <gasps> Neo, what's up, brother? So what do you think about this match? What do you think is um, kind of an advantage thing? Uh, My gut says knuckles, because I feel like glide there just stops anything that can deal with from getting a sword out of time. Of, apart, definitely have not theory crafted in this matchup in my brain, but I would have just assumed knuckles. Yeah, I mean, like... I do think that Link, his like hitboxes above and in front of him have like good active frames, which are probably pretty good at dealing with a lot of Knuckles' really oppressive stuff. But I just think Knuckles is really good. Ah. Okay, I gotta go play my bracket. Damn. Godspeed, right, solo Kong K. I'm sorry, Liv, but great A commentary. Yo, Nathan, when are these two finally going to name that? You know what? This might have actually a question on the um, chat. Oh, then there it is. That hitbox is disgusting. Taking down in the way the most Sakurai of Sakurai angles. All right, back down the last cut. Taking him right all the way back. Even taking the lead shortly. Starting off strong. Just calling out the jump with the up No, okay. One thing I do think is, oh my god. Knuckles is like one of the perfect combo ways for Link. He's heavy, but not too heavy. I feel like he just gets absolutely rocked by Link's combos. So, I'll lead up, I think Link can actually match up in terms of offensive, like, threat with Knuckles. And these up airs, Knuckles could not come back down. Oh, nice. Double jab to call out the roll. So funny. Now that's not going to do it. Kind of a weak move. Knuckles falls fast as I don't know what, too. Ooh, the pizza bomb. Forward there. No! Oh, he made it back. I don't want to, if it ends, I don't want to see it end like that. I want to see some extremely high the combo. Oh my goodness, the bomb chasing him down. Oh, that might be, ooh. Oh, jump, let's see. Oh, but the sword is just a little bit too long. The sword is longer than the dreadlocks, people. You can quote that. And there it is, jab, jab, F to the take game one. All right. Oh, is that a Nightwing? Oh, that is so sick. Nightwing Link. A capital Robin. So we're banning. We're banning the big stage. Is interesting. I don't understand why we want to ban Delfino. Knuckles will probably live forever. Plus, he can glide and climb up the walls as well. We so can kind of match the probability on those stages. So let's see. If I were Knuckles, where would I go? I would probably not go Smashville. I'd probably go like somewhere like. Okay. Smashville it is. Maybe it's a comfort pick. 
I see Diggy already setting up that zone and keeping him out. He gets the grab, no jump. Up he saves him, but it's not enough. Pressure is still coming on. So like one thing Diggy is like absolutely amazing at is just flexing that stage control. If you notice like as he moves, if he has to retreat, he always like forces back to center stage and then holds his ground. He will keep you at the ledge for as long as it takes to kill you. And like the Fritz are showing it. Under Tevin is 20%. Barely taking any damage while maintaining the stage for the majority of this time. Ooh, unsafe Nero gets grabbed. He's a percent play, and oh my goodness, the slide off. That is very clutch. If I like, oh no. <laughs> you like spikes here, try this one out. Alright, immediately even the socks back up. The spring looks like it's gonna put in some work. Ooh, the back air, but it's too weak. 9% of the boy from the ledge. Right now, it looks like Kid is getting a rush down more. No, Sakalik like is really setting up his zone in potential. Yeah, just moving around though. See, this is what Knuckles needs to do in order to win this matchup. If he gets hit and caught by Link, he can he can eat some percent. Link can punish him just as hard as Knuckles can punish him, surprisingly enough. Oh, oh my goodness, I thought that was over, but he made it back. And then he only one, and then Chip lost. <laughs> oh, yeah, does Chip also play Link? I think he does. I think he plays Toon Link? Maybe he plays both. Oh my goodness, just pixel away from that. Nice. So one thing I do think, ooh, ooh, and a kill. I think Link is in a unique position to actually edge up as well. Between Arrow and Boomerang, he has some decent options to right and glide without putting himself immediately at risk because Knuckles going to quickly area a lot of it. And if Knuckles get caught by either of those, he kind of just dies. Like Arrow just probably straight up kills if you grab ledge, and then Boomerang will let the combo to the And Link has a chain grab. You no, know, maybe this matchup is a little bit closer than I initially thought. I mean, that Rafinga is just way better than my brain was ready for. I used to say this man messed up with Falco, but now he's out here with Link. He's in there. Once again, looking for that advantage, pushing him to the ledge, but he gets caught out going for the dare. Okay, so I think Kid is kind of like lacking what the spring to do, and that makes sense, because like Link's tether is kind of slow. They can't like reel in immediately like DSS or Iris or anything. And his upbeat doesn't really cover his head. The spring might be a safe way for him to challenge him without putting himself at risk. Yeah. Ooh, just upbeat raw. Nice jump. He's caught by the up tilt though. Interesting. So use the bomb to cover the downer. That was actually really smart. Okay, no glide. Ooh, I think Antwerp just killed him. But the L cleans it up with the fair, cleans it up with the fair. Alright. Okay, hot potato with the bomb. You do not want to get in a crowd control with this character. Down smash will beat you every time. Ooh, I know they can hit to get on that platform. Smash will come in with the savior. And just grab, that's not going to do it. Don't get this too, too bad. Oh, but that setup was so beautiful. Covered the immediate approach with the bomb, and then just covered everything else with the up Said, land on stage, I dare you. And, you know. Kitten has the balls, he'll do it. Ah. Three, two, one. Not score, but it is currently 2 0 thingy. You can see a switch over to the Falco now. Now, this is actually interesting. I do not know how Knuckles does with the spaces. Like, I don't know if they're like a good cowboy for him. I, I don't know. I don't know very much about this character. I just know Yono played him at Riptide and just absolutely ripped ass I, for no reason. I think he almost beat the doctor that tournament. Really showing the pencil of this character. Got like the entire Shunder for two. He's got thinking of a kind of a tech chase situation here. Nice snare using the spring. Doesn't catch him. Oh, this is the grab though. He still keeps the pressure going. That's like a that's not of a good player. Being able to keep the pressure going even if your initial option doesn't work out. That's so good. Oh, going for the up throw instead of throwing him off stage. Interesting choice. Maybe you thought he could land the fair there? He gets put by the up smash. See, it's possible if Nuskin one of those characters with a threat and fly without getting like too close. The laser, ooh, just caught by the force. So yeah, I feel like Knuckles can double them pretty well, but he has to like rely on like his air and like maybe back air to like get him off stage. I feel like he has a pretty good time edge on his faces. Ooh, this is the fly, he's just fly on that black one right there. Oh, he wants that grab. He's not, he is not giving it to him. Also, this is going to be like the battle of the sex, 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 sex. Ooh. 
food out there. I feel like if you grab laser, you can just head. Put him with the QQ, put him with the QQ. Got him back on face, caught the blind, let's see. Oh, but he makes it. Nice, nice. Alright, this is what I want to see. Throw him on face. The down B, interesting. See, that's something I never really see Knuckles use like that. It comes out very seldom. I don't want to see that a bit more. I wonder if anything like five ways to get out of that. I feel like they were using that movement out there to like get off face faster. King is being relentless with these lasers. Good grief. Exercising that second amendment, I see. Once again, with missing that back there, it's so hard. The upper won't kill, it just like, add on a little bit more percent. And this is the issue that Knuckles has to struggle with. Oof. And thinking with the extension and the pressure, want the full jab combo? Okay. Hey, that's the tornado, bud. I see Jimmy saw him shine. Makes it back down. Once again, back at his using his later. He gets caught out. That's a fair, right? Yep, there it is. 171. We got the stock. No, oh my goodness. This gets caught lacking in the air. Falco down there is so good. But yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like Falco is there and down there just really just shutting up with down right now. And if he's in neutral, he has to deal with laser, which nobody wants to deal with. I just heard a Discord sound up there. What a blow. Oh, just snatches him off the air. Up throw. Tech is in the platform up there. Oh, misses the fair. I see what you're going for, though. Trying to catch a DI in the game. Nice. Fair. Got him off stage. Interesting. Oh, no. If it just F tilted, or even down tilt would have got the drill out of that. And he just just caught going for the drill. Oh, my goodness. Good stuff from both players. Dingy really just showing he had to answer with two different characters. Impressive.